are trying this again. Yeah. My name is Coach Shane. Coach Shane, not Couch Shane. Lots of people like to call me Couch Shane, C-O-U-C-H. But I'm not a sofa. I'm not a Davenport. I'm not a Belvedere. I'm a coach, not a couch. C-O-A-C-H is actually uh, my title. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, good. So I'm on YouTube. Now, they say I should have uh, uh, some subtitles, like with my name. I don't see no name. I don't see any name. Do you see any? I don't see anything. Why, why doesn't that work? Oh, there we go. Coach, look at that. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, it worked. Oh, no, it didn't. Ah, we got a delay. We, we have a delay, yeah. Hey, boss. Tio, que pelo mundo. How you doing? How you doing, Tio? What's up? I got a delay over here. Play. <laughs> Still testing out here. Getting ready. I'm getting ready. Nita Bench. Hey, Anita. How you doing? How you doing, Anita? Always good to see you. Good to see you, Anita. Do you guys see? Oh, it's going to hop. Pop up in a second. I'm I'm on YouTube, so there's a there we go. Good, it's working. Good, that's what I want to see. All right, the objective of today, what I want to do today, is uh, the LME podcast. Parts of the LME podcast with you guys. But before we start, I want to test a few things. Okay. So, uh, DL9 Register, how you doing? Uh, great. Uh, the kids the kids are shopping. That's why I'm here today. The kids are out with mom. They went to the city. Uh, so, they're shopping today. Edgar, como estas? How you doing in Mexico? Um, so, I want to test a couple things before we actually begin. And one is the audio. So, you can hear me, I know. Hi, couch. Thanks, Bender. I really appreciate that. Hey, Dimitri. Many years. Good, Dimitri. That's great, Igor. Uh, LME Podcast right here, buddy. See that? LME Podcast. Saludos. Hey, Brazil. Obrigado. Uh, so let me... So can you guys hear this? Hold up. Hello from Perm, Russia. I love it. It's the only choice for somebody like me who is traveling the world to win this battle. I believe... The time it takes me to get somewhere. I can't sail across the ocean. I have to fly to meet with people and get yes things no? done. How dare you? Uh, I have to wait because there is a delay. It's the only choice for someone like me. It's the only choice for someone like me. Why do you have a 12,000 square foot house on the water in Nantucket? Hello, Poland. It's hey, the Russia. the only choice for someone like me. Not a choice you're allowed to have. None of the rules apply to the people in charge. Obviously, the people in charge are important you hear and something? significant. And that's why corporations, Amazon, Microsoft, Apple, are seeing record profits right now, even as your life falls apart, even if, if you run a small business, you get arrested for trying to make a living. Oops. This is just standard in the climate movement. They don't have any problem with it at all. John Kerry. So you can hear that. Let me, let me try another one. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. As long as you like, is that Fox News? Yes, it was, Edgar. You're Edgar, you're a genius. That was uh, Tucker Carlson. Yep, so we got that. Good. So my audio works. Uh, unfortunately, guys, I really want to do, like, songs. You know, I got a lot of great songs. And I will do songs in the full LME podcast. Uh, if So if you're a member, uh, you can get that. Um, but I can't do it on YouTube. I can't do it on... Uh, uh, the other sites, so I apologize about that. VK and Periscope, I can't. Uh, Hrufty Hruft is on VK. Igor is on Periscope. Katarzyna is on po uh, in 
from Poland on YouTube. Edgar, once again, Tio Luis, Edgar Ronjambo, La Cucaracha. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see you. John Rambo. John Rambo. I get it, you little cockroach, you. Uh, yeah, okay, good. So my audio works. Um, I'm not going to play music. I will play music in the uh, final podcast version. So I would love for you to join me in that. Uh, Verizon right now is texting me. As they say in France, good to hell. Uh, <laughs> Hello, teacher. I like this. What is it that you like? Yeah. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. The LME podcast is what we're doing today. You guys are all victims of uh, my live broadcast. If I'm lucky, uh, Ron Jambo will join me to, just to say hi. But first of all, I want to get going here. So we're going to start. So I got my opening. So I'll be doing I'll be going through this script here. And I know it's really small for you guys. I don't care. Just listen. Uh, I'll be doing my opening and I'll be introducing a song. Uh, maybe I'll play the ad uh, and then uh, I'll be doing some news, a couple of news stories, actually three news stories, some good stuff. And I'll be talking about how to pick a good English name. Isn't that outstanding? <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Uh, and then I'll be I don't think I'll do the weather because I have to uh, maybe I'll do the weather, uh, but I will do a. Uh, uh, st LME student roundup and uh, not doing this and maybe I'll do some Q&A maybe I'll do some Q&A and uh, that's that's about it uh-huh Ron Jambo fell asleep already okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started and once again guys what I'm doing today is basically a live show for the LME podcast okay and Eventually, I will invite some of you to actually speak with me. Uh, so if you're if you have a good, strong internet connection, uh, good audio, um, and then I will uh, be happy to talk with you for a little bit. Uh, and I'm about ready to go. Let me just say hi to people again. Moshin, Fawaz. Uh-huh. Uh. -huh. uh Otabek from Uzbekistan. Ah, yes. Tashkent. Are you from Tashkent? Good city. Igor, damn me those names. I'm feeling like I'm among members of Narco Cartel. <laughs> yeah, we're all part of a cartel. We're all part of a cartel. All right, so I'm about to begin. Let me make sure that my recording software is ready to go. Ba -ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. Hey, 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 audio testing, good for me. That's what I want to see. I'm listening to your podcast, E-Cubed on Spotify. I don't know how to rate it on Spotify, but you can rate it on iTunes. And five stars is the only rating acceptable. Uh, Sepita, how you doing? Ryder, hello. Catalina, I from Veracruz, Mexico. Uh, Como estas, Catalina? Yes, Tashkent. See, I know it. Actually, it's the only city I know in Uzbekistan. Ryder, demanding things already. Nope, not going to do it. Sorry, buddy. I already have a program. Once again, today. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the LME podcast. Let's master English. My name is Coach Shane, and I'm so happy to have you join me today. So what's coming up in this episode? Woo! We've got a lot of news stories. Vaccine news for COVID-19. Mm -hmm. COVID-19, still a big problem in 2021. Vaccine news coming up. The USA's, that's the United States, of America's new global warming leader. That's right. It's not Biden. You know, we have a new president, President Biden. He is not the USA's global warming leader. Who is it? I will tell you, and we'll talk about him. 
Yeah, it's a he. Well, his pronouns are he and him. <laughs> and finally, another news story all about. Cocaine. Yeah. How many of you love cocaine? <laughs> we'll talk about people who do love cocaine. Country Shane will be joining us. And then how to pick a good English name. So uh, some of you, you know, if you're from Europe or if you're from, you know, South America, Central America, uh, your names are pretty similar and actually nowadays even kind of common in the United States. I think a lot of students in India and the Middle East, they don't care about English names. But a lot of students in Asia, yeah, a lot in Asia, especially China, Hong Kong, uh, Taiwan, Korea, they want to have an English name. And I'll tell you the truth. Many of your English names are actually funny. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. Yeah. Many of your English names are funny. So don't worry. I'm not laughing. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you if you're watching live and many of you are watching live. I'm going to show you how to choose the perfect name for yourself. English name. Okay. And this is going to be great. It's really good. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, yeah, we got a uh, uh, weather. We're going to be talking about some weather forecasts in a couple of places and a VIP roundup. That's right. A roundup, uh, what my students are studying. You guys always say, hey, Coach Shane, where's the live class? Where, where's the new YouTube videos? Where's the podcast? I'm busy. I'm busy. Yeah, I really am. And I'm busy with my students. Uh, VIP, uh, DDM, and, and Perf. Very busy with the students. So I'm going to tell you what we have been doing these days. And if we're lucky, we'll do a Q&A session. Maybe I'll take a question or two. And of course, all of that is intermixed with some great music. I think uh, Coach Miguel would not agree about the quality of music. But although we love Coach Miguel... He is way too uh, diehard a fan of the blues, which is also really great. Anyway, we got some great music uh, if you're with us on air. And if you're not an on air, if you're not a member, well, don't worry. I'll tell you how to do that. Uh, of course, if you're online, there's no live music. Can't do that. That's illegal. All right, so we're going to kick it off today with a fantastic song by the Goo Goo Dolls. Now, the Goo Goo Dolls is a band, and they've been around for several years. Uh, but this is kind of a, a new song. It's really great, and it's perfect in the COVID-19 era where everybody's dying. I'm murdered. We're living in a world unfair. We're living in a world so scared. I'm going to be fearless, fearless, and joy. All right, guys. That was the intro to the podcast. Stop recording. And now I'll start recording again. I'll say hi to you guys again. Uh, we got a lot here. Oof, we got a lot of people. Uh, hey, coach, I'm here. Joylson. How is my name? Ryder. Ryder. It's not a really uh, English name. Uh, Ron Jambo. Uh, he's talking. How is my name? Yeah. Hello from the heart of Europe. I love the heart of Europe. Seriously, I do. I want Croatian olive oil. If anybody has any connections to Croatia, send me olive oil. Vandana Mahajan. Hi. How you doing? Bill? Elon? Yeah, Igor, those are good names. Uh, Bill is common. Comes from William. Another version of William is kind of funny. Elon, if you're rich, it's okay. If you're not rich, forget about it. 
President China. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, oh got to be careful. Got to be careful, Jarmila. For COVID triggered do vaccine. Oh, yeah. Uh, the best coaches here. Saja, that's right. That's right. Hello from France. Uh, 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 mon ami. How are you doing, mon ami? Jeanette Dupont. Uh, that is a female. So can I call a female mon ami? Hooray! Coach Shane podcast is back. That's right. Uh, the Trump cartel. Fine. Salam, teacher. How you doing, Yasmin? I like your video classes. They're great. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Good. All right. I think we're caught up. Uh, hi from Sri Lanka. You got this. That's right, I do. All right. So uh, that was the introduction. And let's see here. I did the song. You want to hear the LME do it? I'll play this. Tell me if the audio quality is okay, guys. Just check out the audio. Here we go. Where education and entertainment come together. Let's master English. Do it. One more. One more time because I like it. I paid money for Where education and entertainment come together. Where education and entertainment come together. Let's master English. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Uh, mon ami with an E is all right. Aha. See, I'm screwing up. Mason. Eh. We'll talk about it. Don't worry. Hold your horses. Bite your tongue. Hi from Istanbul. Do it. That's right. Super audio. That's good. Good. That's what I want to hear. Super audio. God, I wish I could play music for you guys. I really want to play music. Okay. Um, so we got three news stories, and we're going to listen to the first story. I need to listen to it a little bit first so that I can get back into it. So uh, let's listen. Are you ready? Here we go. We're going to listen. Comorbidity. 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 Here we go. My parents have already gotten their second dose. They're fully vaccinated. Does that mean it's okay for them to spend time with their grandchildren who obviously have not been vaccinated? What's your recommendation? You know, I, I'm not going to make a rec. All right, I'm ready. All right, everybody, our first news story is about the vaccines, V-A-C-C-I-N-E, of course, plural, add an S, vaccines. So this is, you know, 2021. What's the date for me? The date is uh, February 24th, 2021, and we still have this COVID-19. Scary stuff, this virus that has affected so many people around the world. Is the virus real? Obviously, it's real. Okay. Evidently, it's very deadly. Uh, so the governments around the world, the U.S., China, Russia, the U.K., many, many governments around the world have been doing their best to make a vaccine, to push the pharmaceutical, the drug companies to make a vaccine, to make everybody protected, right? So the idea, my understanding is if you get a vaccine, then you're okay, right? If you don't get a vaccine, then you can get sick. That's my understanding. Am I wrong? Once again, my understanding of a vaccine is if you get, if you receive the vaccine, your body's going to be stronger and you hopefully will be protected from the virus, the disease. If you don't get the vaccine, then you are unprotected and you could get sick, right? That's my understanding of a vaccine. So, amazingly, uh, many countries, uh, Russia, again, Russia, China, uh, the United States, the UK, I'm not sure about the UK, but anyway, for sure, uh, Russia, China, and the United States, they have developed vaccines, and they're distributing those vaccines around the world, and people are getting those vaccines, right? So, 
in the United States, we have a news channel called CNN. For many people, CNN is garbage. It's fake news. But for many other people, they love it. It's their God. Their religion is CNN. So, you know, I don't care where you are. But anyway, on CNN, there was an interview with the CNN anchor and a guy by the name of Dr. Fauci. Dr. Fauci, F-A-U-C-I. And he has been America's basically virus king for, gosh, almost 20 years. A long time. He's been in the government for a long time. And his main job is to watch out over viruses and make sure everything is okay. So under Donald Trump, he was the virus king. And now under President Biden, he's the virus king. Everybody goes to him to find out about COVID-19. What do we do? Should we wear a mask? No mask. And he said both. In the beginning, he said no mask. And then he changed, no, <laughs> you have to wear a mask. And recently he said, well, actually, you have to wear two masks and even three. Yeah, this is Dr. Fauci. And to many Americans, Dr. Fauci is basically like a god. And the reporter asked a question. So we get our vaccines after we get our vaccines. Is everything going to be okay? And I want you to listen to the audio. So here we go. My parents have already gotten their second dose. They're fully vaccinated. Does that mean it's okay for them to spend time with their grandchildren who obviously have not been vaccinated? What's your recommendation? You know, I, I'm not going to make a recommendation now. My what? My parents have been vaccinated. They received both vaccinations. So now can they hug their grandchildren? What's your recommendation? That's what the reporter asked. And Dr. Fauci said, eh, eh, ooh, I'm not going to make a recommendation. What? Now, I have this situation. Me personally, Coach Shane. Uh, I have two little boys, Mikey, who's going to be three in a couple of days, and Jimmy, who is one and a half. And Mikey met his grandfather. Mikey met his grandfathers, and they were able to hug him, and they love him, of course. Uh, but Jimmy has yet to meet his grandfathers. And both grandfathers have said, let's meet after COVID-19. So this is terrible. They're not young. Um, my dad is about 80. Uh, I mean, the grandfathers are old. So how long will they be around? I don't know. But they're unable. They don't, they don't want to see Jimmy because they're worried about COVID-19. And that was the question reporter. And now Dr. Fauci says, uh, I don't know. I don't know. So why are we getting vaccines? If we get a vaccine, shouldn't we be allowed to enjoy life? My understanding in Israel, as long as you have the vaccine and you show them, see, I have the vaccine, you can do anything. You can go to the movies, you can you can go to the grocery store, you can go anywhere, you can do anything. Including seeing your grandchildren, your family. Can you imagine if you, maybe you are, but if you were a grandma or a grandfather and your son or your daughter just had a new baby, a baby boy, a baby girl, wouldn't you want to go hug the baby and, and smell the baby and give the baby a kiss? The baby doesn't have the, vac the, the virus. It's a baby. Oh, my God. And, and, uh, uh, it's really sad, really frustrating. But there's more. There's more. Listen to this. You and the president have suggested that we'll approach normality toward the end of the year. What is 
You, Dr. Fauci, and the president, President Biden, have predicted we will approach normality by the end of the year, meaning by the end of 2021, things will be close to normal. Things will be close to normal. Listen to that again. You and the president have suggested that we'll approach normality toward the end of the year. What does normal mean? Do you think Americans will still be wearing masks, for example, in 2022? What does normal mean? Do you think Americans will still be wearing masks in 2022? And, and once again, this is like after everybody's been vaccinated. This is Dr. Fauci's answer. You know, I think it is possible that that's the case. And again, it really depends on what you mean by normality. <laughs> you and the president have suggested that we'll approach normality. Really? Toward Listen to that again. Play. You know, I think it is possible that that's the case. You know, I think that it is possible that that's the case. Yes, it's possible in 2022 we will still be wearing masks. And again, it really depends on what you mean by normality. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on what you mean by normal. <laughs> is that funny? I don't think it's funny. People are going crazy. Kids can't, in, a, in the United States, kids can't go to school. People don't get to go to the bars, go to the restaurants, go to their office. Everybody's wearing a mask. By just simply not wearing a mask, people don't smile. There's no need to smile. I went to the store the other day, and I, I brought with me a water. And I'm in the store, and I took a drink of water, and I put my water in the cart, and my mask was down. And I didn't put my mask up. A lady came around the corner. She saw that my mask was below my mouth. And she said, oh, she screamed. And then she went the, to some uh, pl someplace else. People are going crazy because of the masks. I was wearing my mask. I had taken a drink of water. I put my water down. I looked up. The lady saw me. She, literally, she screamed. She said, oh. And she went another direction. Like, I'm a disease. People are going crazy. People hate each other even more. What's going on? People are getting tired. Grandmas and grandpas want to see their grandkids. I miss my dad. I'd like to see him. He's getting old. I hate wearing a mask. It's stupid. I mean, I understand if it really does help, but now they say, no, wear two masks. Wear three masks. Two masks, 85% more effective. Three masks, 90% more effective. Maybe we should wear four masks. No, I'm going to wear 12 masks. Where does it stop? Where does it stop? It's very frustrating. We've been going through COVID-19 for over a year. And I understand it's terrible. My students, several of my students have had family members that have died from COVID-19. It's not a joke. I completely understand that. I have had family members that have had COVID-19. Fortunately, all of them survived. It's not a joke, but it's getting old. How long are we going to be scared? We need to come out. We need to, I don't want to say relax, but uh, we need to be strong. We need to be stronger, right? Yeah, we do. Uh, masks forever. When is normal? When are we going to be able to go to the movie theater, to the restaurants? What about to basketball games and soccer games and football games? See the grandchildren. We get two shots and we should be good to go. We should be okay. We should be fine at that point. That's the idea of a vaccine, right? 
So if we take the vaccine and we still have to wear a mask and we still can't go to the restaurant and we still can't go to a soccer game, why take the vaccine? People who don't take the vaccine also have to wear a mask. Why take the vaccine? That's crazy. Don't be a lemming. Don't be a lemming. L-E-M-M-I-N-G. Do you know what a lemming is? A lemming is a small animal. It lives in the Arctic, the North Pole, Canada, and the United States, and probably in Russia, the, uh, you know, very cold areas. But it's like a, it's basically like a rat or a mouse. If we want to be cute, a mouse. If we want to be ugly, a rat. But it's, it's uh, a lemming. And we have a, an understanding of lemmings. Lemmings follow each other. There's a leader. And one lemming will go, ding, 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 ding. He'll go forward and he'll lead a path. And then all the other lemmings follow him. They never question. They never question the leader. Lemmings just keep going, ding, 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 ding. And sometimes the leader is pretty crazy. And the leader realizes, wow, this winter is really tough. There is no food. It is best that we die. And the leader, ding, 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 walks and walks and walks and jumps over a cliff into the ocean, killing himself. And all the other lemmings, ding, 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 they just follow mindlessly, without thinking, without their own opinion. They just follow the leader over the cliff to their death. In America, idiomatically, it's an idiom. We talk about don't be a lemming. Don't be thoughtless. Don't not have your own thoughts. Keep your own opinion. Don't just simply always follow the leader. Don't be a lemming. Don't be a lemming. Speaking of don't be a lemming about a bad disease like COVID-19, we've got a great song coming up. We need a song break. Ooh, that's been heavy. Robert Palmer. Yeah, R.I.P. Robert Palmer. Good musician, great singer. He's got a song called Bad Case of Loving You. All right, guys, that was the first news story. That, that was pretty big. I see lots of uh, comments, and uh, I'll look at the, I'll check out the comments a little bit later. We're going to go right to the next story. Okay, next story. And uh, let me check the audio. Yeah, it's going to be good. All right, here we go. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I've got a bad case loving you. Yeah, it's a good song. Robert Palmer, thank you very much. All right, it is time to talk about our next story. America's, the United States of America's new climate czar. Climate czar, C-L-I-M-A-T-E, climate. Yeah, basically the weather, right? Czar, this is a Russian word, C-Z-A-R. C Z A R, and the American pronunciation is czar. Climate czar means the climate king, the king of the American climate. And, and what we're talking about is global warming, right? Global warming, the earth is heating up, and the ice at the North Pole is melting, and polar bears are dying, and penguins in the South Pole are dying. And, and the cities are flooding and everybody's dying and the earth is, this is the idea of global warming. Well, America, now, now that Donald Trump is gone and Joe Biden is the new president, we have a new climate czar. Yes, Joe Biden is a socialist, which is kind of, well, he's a Democrat, but he's really left. And the further left you go, you become, you know, a communist. Anyway, uh, 
climate czar is John Kerry. John Kerry is not a communist. Believe me, he is a capitalist. He loves money. John Kerry loves money so much that he married. This is not his first marriage. Uh, his second marriage is to a lady of the family, Heinz, H-E-I-N-Z. Is it H-E-I-N-Z-E? -E? It might be. I think it is H-E-I-N-Z-E. -E. Heinz. Heinz is a super rich American family. They are the king of ketchup. They're the ketchup king in America. Ketchup, like on a hamburger, ketchup, French fries and ketchup. Yeah. Uh, her family is the Heinz family, and Heinz makes ketchup and steak sauce. They make lots of stuff. Very, very rich. Very rich. And John Kerry. John Kerry, who is the new American climate czar, is married to uh, Ms. Heinz. And that's fine. No problem. I don't care. You know, good. I hope you love each other. Anyway, uh, a couple of years ago, two years ago, John Kerry flew on an airplane to Iceland. Oh, yes. You know, you, we've got Europe. And then we've got the UK, and then we've got Ireland. And then if we go further to the west, there's Iceland. After Iceland, there's Greenland, and then Canada and the United States, right? So he went to Iceland, very small island. He flew there. He flew to Iceland. Why? To accept an award, a prize, A W A R D, award. A prize, P-R-I-Z-E. What kind of prize? What kind of an, an award? The Arctic Circle Award. Wow. For his climate leadership, John Kerry, in the entire world, John Kerry is one of the greatest climate leaders, global warming leaders, Talking about global warming all around the world. We've got Al Gore, Thuna, what's her name? Thurna, Thuma, the, the, how dare you? The young lady from uh, Europe. Is she, is she German? Oh man, I can't. what's her name? Somebody put her name in the, in the, in the, uh, in the chat room. Is it Thuna, Thurna? Yeah, tell me what her name is. Uh, and then we got John Kerry. John Kerry. He's a global warming leader. Now, personally, is there a global warming issue? I don't know. Uh, however, should we conserve fuel and save water and trees? Of course. I agree with that. Anyway, John Kerry flew to Iceland to accept an Arctic Circle Award. Congratulations for his climate leadership. But <laughs> listen. He flew to Iceland on his private jet. His private jet. Actually, it's not his private jet. It's his wife's private jet because she's rich. John Kerry's not rich. His wife is rich. And he flew to Iceland on his private jet. Wasting all of that fuel, creating so much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Thank you, Greta Thunberg. Thank you, Andre. Greta. Greta Thunberg. <laughs> How dare you, Greta Thunberg. Thank you. Anyway, he flew to Iceland on his private jet. And this is beautiful. This is beautiful. An Icelandic reporter, a reporter from Iceland, asked John Kerry, um, don't you think that flying to Iceland on a private jet to accept a global warming award is a little hypocritical? It doesn't make much sense. You're a global warming leader, but you're flying on a private jet? Isn't that a little bit hypocritical? And what did John Kerry say? That's what we need to know. 
We're this is find just out. standard in the climate. It's the only choice for somebody like me who is traveling the world to win this battle. I Did you hear that? Let me play it again. One more time. It's the only choice for somebody like me who is traveling the world to win this battle. It's the only choice for somebody like me who is traveling the world to win this battle. Somebody like me. Because I'm important. I am a global warming leader. Therefore, I can fly on my private jet. You, however, cannot stop flying. Drive electric cars. Don't use electricity. Use the wind and the solar power. Of course, in Texas, that didn't work last week because there was no sun and the wind power froze. But Coach Shane, out in space, the International Space Station uses solar panels. Yes, they do. And there's never any clouds in space. They always have the sun. And trust me, the solar panels that they use in space are a little bit better than the solar panels you have on your house. Should we use solar panels and wind power? Absolutely. But we have to use battery cars. We cannot fly. But John Kerry, the leaders of the world can do this. It's hypocrisy. It's crazy. The leaders, and this is the United States. I don't know about your country, but the leaders are always saying, do this, do this, do this. And they don't do that. Nancy Pelosi said, you cannot go to the the hair salon. She goes to the hair salon. Gavin Newsom. The governor of of, uh, California said, you cannot go to restaurants, and he goes to a restaurant. Ted Cruz, the state of Texas is freezing, and he takes his family to Mexico where it's nice, hot, and warm. It's crazy. The hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is the key word. The hypocrisy is crazy. Do you know the word hypocrisy? I'm going to spell it here because I I need to make sure. Hypocrisy. H-Y-P-O-C-R-I-S-Y. Hypocrisy. Saying one thing and doing another. In the United States, when it comes to politics, hypocrisy is number one. Oh, by the way, uh, John Kerry says, I'm not joking. We have nine years. Nine years to save the world. I think it was Al Gore back in 2000 said we had 12 years. But then 2012 came and everybody's okay. But now, I'm not joking, in 2021, John Kerry, America's climate czar, says we have nine years to solve the problem. Nine years to solve the problem. By the way, John Kerry, not too long ago, he bought a new house. Yay, that's fine. Really expensive, like $12 million. Wow, but that's okay. His wife is rich. That's fine. Where did he buy the house? On a beautiful place called Martha's Vineyard. Martha's Vineyard is just outside of Boston. Beautiful area. Martha's Vineyard is an island. And his house is on the beach. He spent $12 million on a massive house on the beach. And he's telling everybody the ocean's going to rise. Now, I don't know. If I truly believed the oceans were going to rise, I would not be buying a $12 million house on the beach. I would be in the mountains 
and the Colorado Rocky Mountains and the Swiss Alps, right? Would you be buying beachfront property? I don't know. It seems to me that if you bought a house on the beach and you're telling the world, stop flying, stop flying, don't use wood, don't burn oil, then you wouldn't want to buy a house on the beach because it would be going into the ocean. That's the next song. We got a couple of great water songs. If you like music and you like water, then you should like these next two songs. The next song is Blue October Into the Ocean, followed by Imagine Dragon. And they've got a fantastic song that's not really about water, but the music video is all about water. Enjoy. Ah, uh, great. I think uh, most of that recording was not recorded. That makes me really angry. I have no idea where it stopped, but I'll have to do that over. Uh, what is this man teaching? Uh, yeah, we're doing the LME podcast. LME podcast. Actually, you know what? I can do this. I can make a split screen view. Split. And I'll make this small so you can see LME podcast. Oh, yes, it's the LME podcast. Let's Master English podcast. This is not for beginner students. So if you're a beginner, uh, you might want to go someplace else. Yeah. Go watch, uh, I don't know, the Disney Channel, something like that. All right. Now we're going to the next story. The next story is about cocaine. It's actually a pretty funny story. Cocaine, the United States. Peru and China, uh, all of that stuff. Uh, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, bum -bum. What does LME stand for? Lick my ear. No, no. Let's master English. Flyhead plays LME. Let's master English. Okay, Flyhead plays is out of here. Yeah, we don't need butt heads. Flyhead was being a butt head. All right. Uh, any, hey, Daniel's from Peru. We got the next stories about you. Let me say hi to people here. Uh, Daniel's from Peru. How you doing, Daniel? Greetings. Who else is here? Uh, Luis Manuel. Hi, I speak Spanish. Como estas? Como estas? Manuel. Mm -hmm. Miguel, are you still here? John Rambo, are you still here? I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. I'll give you the mic. Luana from Brazil. Obrigado. Thank you very much for joining me. <laughs> Manuel's from Peru. Great. Speak Portuguese. Watermelon boy. All right. I like a watermelon. Haven't had a watermelon. Evren. Long time no see, Evren. Great to see you. Lord Green. Yes. Yeah. Chavira. Chavira means cool. Yeah, Chavira. I love it. Anybody else? Who else is here? Luis? Is it Luis or Louis? I'm guessing Luis. 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 No, I just want you to say hi, John Rambo. Are you still in Korea? Oh, God, no. No, left Korea a long time ago. Manuel, you're excellent. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm awesome. Hi, Shane. Hi, awesome. Yeah, don't 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 do anything dangerous, Miguel. I'm gonna invite you. So I'm gonna copy this, Miguel. Go to Slack and uh, click on that link. If you say anything bad, Miguel. I'm going to kick you out because I have the power. I have the power. Good job. Ah, Louis. Ah, Louis. Great, great. I'm from Iran. Sepide. 
great. Of course I remember you, Evren. Diana from Brazil. How you doing? Good, good. Mustafa. How you doing, Mustafa? How long have you been in Korea? God, I, I left Korea a long time. About 10 years ago, I left. I'm from Egypt. Shokran. I was in Korea a long time. though. Yeah. I lived in Korea. I was in the army. U.S. Army. Und, uh, I was an English teacher. I was a businessman. Yeah, did all that stuff. And now I'm living in America. Hey, hey. Anybody else? Who else is here? While I wait for uh, John Rambo. Ooh, it's all in English. I'm from Russia. It's colder here than in Texas, but we manage every year. Oh, there's Miguel. I see Miguel. Hold on. Hey, Coach Miguel, you're live. I'm getting, getting a lot, lot of feedback. Getting a lot of echo? I'm a boomer. How you doing, Miguel? Oops. Do I have, Do I have to? Do I have to mute? Okay, no, I, I don't think. think so. Yeah, yeah. One, two, One, three, two, three. Check, check, check. You sound perfect to me. Yeah, yeah I, have I have to. to. No, no, I'm getting, I'm getting, getting feedback. feedback. <laughs> That's a nightmare. nightmare. <laughs> I can, yeah, I can hear. Do you have headphones? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. That might work. Oh, Miguel's got his guitar. Look at that. He's got his Look guitar. This. His guitar is his wife, everybody. Yeah, yeah better better. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait for Miguel to get his uh earphones oh, in. Boy, and then, and then mute your speaker. All right. I'm a boomer. He's an old man. He's a boomer. Okay. Okay. I still hear echo. Oh, it me sounds too, good. Too. Okay, okay. I'm getting. Should I hear myself? myself? Not really. No, don't. You don't need to hear yourself. But I, I hear you. Do Do I sound okay? Sounds sounds great. Great. Perfect. But, perfect. But, yeah, we're we're good now. Coach Miguel, but, but, how long have we been together as a couple? Uh, oh, oh wow! Well, well, I think I, think, I, think, I don't uh, know. 2000, 2013 or so. Yeah, maybe, I think maybe, 2012 yeah, yeah. maybe. Probably, Probably yeah. 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 Oh, 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 oh. You know, you know I, was, I was... I cannot I speak. Can I speak. Uh, what do I, what have, do I to have to do? do? No, you sound... Believe me. Yeah, I know. Uh, and, and you want to be able to hear yourself. Don't worry. You sound absolutely perfect. So No, so no, no, no. The, the thing, thing when, I, I, when speak, I speak, I hear, I myself. hear myself. Take out the earbuds then. Uh, but then you need to hear me. Yeah. yeah. We're two We're boomers. boomers. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'll speak. S I will speak slowly. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. <laughs> Boy, Boy if if I'm, I'm tripping. tripping. Yeah. So, Miguel, <laughs> you have a guitar. Do you name... Your guitars. Who does, Who does that? that? Psychopath. Really? You know. You know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. No. Will you Will you play a little bit of uh, of something for us? I don't. I don't think it's gonna be terrible. terrible. Try. You know. You know. Huh? Huh? Try. The sun is sun. Sounds sound good, sound good, isn't it? It sounds okay. <laughs> Cocaine. Yeah, right, right. Oh, I that's, that's not, not cocaine. cocaine. That's, that's the, the sunshine, sunshine on your love or something. Oh, it sounds similar to cocaine. 
It does. It does. I, and I, and I, think I think it's, it's from, from Mary Clapton or, or, no, or no, Cream. Oh, okay, I don't know. okay, okay. That makes well. He was in Cream, wasn't he? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Miguel, everybody, this is my right hand man, Coach Miguel. Uh, he's been with me since the very beginning. He's our the first river. coach. He handles all of, uh, I mean, he does everything. So when you guys complain, uh, he's the guy that you're talking to. When you guys love something, he's the guy you're talking to. I try to be there, but uh, I just have to say, as always, Miguel, uh, thank you so much. Miguel, once this COVID crap is over, you're going to come and visit us, uh, our family, right? Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe 2030. 2030. <laughs> That's a little oh, bit man, too man. long, I think. Yeah. yeah. We're going to have, gonna to, have do to do something. something. Absolutely. Absolutely. Miguel, do you have any classes today? No. Uh, no. No. Uh, I do, I do this, this one, one on, uh, on, on Friday. Friday. Okay. I'm okay, going to unplug. Can you? Can you okay, I'm, okay, I'm going to speak. And then, and then, I'm, then going I'm going to, you know, you know, you know to take the black off, so I, I, I don't hear myself, okay? Yep. But you can hear me, right? Perfect. And, and then, then when, when you speak, speak, I'll put, put it back, back on. on. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, so, so uh, uh, yeah, Friday, uh, DDM classes are Fridays, uh, Saturdays, Saturdays, and then and Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Although, Although this coming, coming Friday, Friday I'm going, I'm going to do, do uh, some older, older assignments, assignments because, because it's a uh, review, review, right? right? We don't have, have no assignments, no. no. You know, you know uh, I'm going to have, have uh, the students, students to join and do, and do some, some, some older, older assignments. assignments. It's, it's going to be Seinfeld, Seinfeld so, so, so it's, so it's fun, fun, right? right? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's usually, usually what, what I do. And then on Wednesdays, today, I... Well, well, today, today I didn't have, have her, her past, past, but I usually, usually have it. I usually, I usually have, have it, okay? And, okay. and, and what, what I do, I do with her, her is I usually take, take, take one of the latest assignments, assignments and then, then I pick all the assignments, assignments, right? right? And maybe, maybe this is not going to make much sense for people, people here, here. But, but what, what I, do I do is I read those assignments out loud off the screen. So, so that, that people, people cannot read. read. So they so have, they to, have be, to be, they have, they have to be, you know, you they know, they are forced, forced to, to, to use their ears, ears entirely. entirely. I love it. I, I, because, because it's different, different when you read, read it's when you read, 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 yeah, that's excellent. Uh, so, and I understand people who are watching live, uh, the audio quality wasn't that good. So basically, I'll, uh, I'll repeat. Um, okay, so okay. Coach Miguel has a, has a bunch of live classes with us. And one thing he does with his speaking class is he oh, yeah, shows yeah. them the script, and then he takes it away. And then the people, and then he says it, and people have to repeat. They have to say it. And that's really important because we have a class called perf, which is about speaking and speaking is different from reading. And if you have the words in front of you on the screen, and if you're not practicing much, you're going to be reading and we don't want people to read it. Perf is not about reading. It's about speaking. So, uh, yeah, Miguel, I think that's an outstanding way. Like I said, Miguel, uh, we were talking earlier I will probably, uh, starting in March, I will do a Perf VIP class. I haven't done Perf VIP in a long time. That should be lots of fun. I'm looking forward to that. All right, all right. Coach Paul is there. He says, oi, oi. Miguel, yeah, thank yeah. you so much for joining me. Okay. okay. Uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that this sound sucks so, so bad. bad. You know, you know but... but... <laughs> You know, but you know. you're handsome. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean come on. Come on. Tell me something silly. silly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Coach Miguel. See ya. See ya. <laughs> I love that guy. Uh, how do I get rid of him? Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how to go. Boom! 
I got rid of him. Okay, so that was Coach Miguel. Uh, so yeah, I'm seeing here that the audio quality wasn't that good, and I, I apologize. Uh, hopefully, we can get the audio quality better in the future. But uh, Coach Miguel, as always, uh, he is my right hand man. Now we're gonna go to another story, a news story. Uh, this is about cocaine. Down, 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 down. Does anybody know that song? It's a great song. Here we go. This is the story. Let me make sure I'm recording. All right, everybody. That was some great music. And now it's time to check out another news story. This is, oh my gosh, this is crazy. So, hey, do you eat breakfast? So, me, I don't. I'm not a breakfast eater. Okay. Um, I tend to have a, an early lunch and a late dinner. I eat twice a day. I would say my first meal is like 11 a.m. And my last meal is probably 9 p.m. I know it's really terrible, uh, but that's what I do. Uh, that's typically what I do. But when I was younger, breakfast was crucial. I needed breakfast. It was super important. I loved breakfast. And when I was in the army, oh, my breakfast was huge. Eggs and bacon and pancakes and French toast and cereal and fruit and milk and orange juice, grits and oatmeal. I'm not joking. I ate everything. I'm serious. I would eat a huge breakfast. And of the things I just mentioned, one of them, again, cereal, C-E-R-E-A-L. Do you eat cereal? Now, in America, when we say cereal, we think of Kellogg's, which is a brand name, or Post, which is also a brand name. And they have lots of Lots of different kinds of cereal. And it's it's dry, you know, cereal. You, you pour it into a bowl, and then you add milk, and then you eat it. This is cereal, okay? It's dried, you know, corn, wheat. Well, yeah, there's lots of different flavors, uh, sweet and everything. Uh, but it, once again, it's dry, and then you add milk. You pour milk into the bowl, and then you eat it. That's cereal, okay? So in America, one of the most popular cereals is called frosted flakes frosted flakes and basically it's a dry cereal with sugar on one side okay so it's you know it's it's a it's a flake like a snowflake and on the top side it's coated with sugar and you can see the sugar it's white OK, on the bottom, there's no sugar, but on the top, it's sugar and they're so delicious, probably not very healthy because there's so much sugar, but we love it. It's very, very popular. This is a story about. Flakes, frosted flakes, actually not Kellogg's, a different brand, but anyway, think frosted flakes. The frosted flakes came from Peru. All right, Peru is a, a country in South America. Really good food in Peru. And the Frosted Flakes went from Peru to the United States. And then they were going to go to China, specifically Hong Kong. So these are Frosted Flakes that started in Peru and then went to the United States. And we're going to go to Hong Kong, but something happened. I want you to listen to the story. Are you ready? Here we go. A U.S. Customs drug dog alerted authorities to a shipment of breakfast cereal that was frosted with cocaine instead of sugar. 
Federal authorities confiscated 44 pounds of cocaine that had been disguised as sugar on frosted corn flakes in Cincinnati last Saturday. U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents say it had a street value of $2.8 million. The shipment originated in Peru and was en route to a private residence in Hong Kong before it was seized by U.S. authorities. The Cincinnati port director says these days, smugglers will hide narcotics in just about anything wow that is insane oh my god did you hear that so they they were shipping frosted flakes and on the top where there's sugar they didn't put sugar they put cocaine cocaine the drug the drug cocaine (laughs) so if you look at the frosted flakes they look like frosted flakes but don't eat those frosted flakes they were sent from peru to the united states and then they were going to hong kong but there's a drug dog in cincinnati ohio that (laughs) oh cocaine found the drugs and you know the 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 you know the the customs agents they open up the box and they see oh what what's wrong doggy doggy it's just frosted flakes. Uh uh-uh. uh. It's cocaine. It's cocaine. The dog was saying cocaine, cocaine, roof, cocaine, roof, roof, cocaine. So they tested the frosted flakes, and yes, it was cocaine, not sugar. $2.4 million worth of cocaine coated like sugar onto frosted flakes. Heading to Hong Kong, but of course, it did not make it to Hong Kong. Oh my God. You know what I'm thinking? Where, who, who was going to receive those cocaine frosted flakes? I know who. I know who it was. Are you ready? The answer Hunter Biden. <laughs> Eric Clapton is famous for his song, Cocaine. Puddle of Mud did a cover. Enjoy. All right, guys, that was the cocaine story. Do you know who Hunter Biden is? Does anybody know who Hunter Biden is? Uh, By the way, uh, I will take some questions. uh, So I'm, I'm looking for questions right now. The next thing we're going to do is how to pick a name in English. How to pick a name in English, an English name. Uh, so uh, that's our next story. Uh, also, if you're in the chat room, if you're on YouTube or VK.com or Periscope, uh, you can uh, send in a question and maybe I will choose your question. So we're looking for that. Yep. So two things. Uh, once again, questions. And then how to choose an English name. That's what's coming up. He's Biden, he's Biden's son, Daniel. Yeah. Hunter Biden is President Biden's son. And Hunter Biden has a drug problem. And he also has a China problem. Uh, Coach, I have a question from Quinn. Well, yeah, throw the questions up there so I can see it there, Coach Paul. Coach Paul is in the house. Coach Paul. So we got Coach Miguel, Coach Paul. Coach Paul does DDM Brazil. And also, hold up. Somebody at the door.
Sorry. I've got a, a couple of guys over at the house uh, to shovel the roof. My roof is full of snow. It's getting pretty heavy, so they're going to shovel the roof. It's very expensive. It's, uh, I think, about $450. So if you have any money, please send it to me. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Hunter Biden is his son. Yep. So uh, uh, Quinn's question, Chinese student. Could you help me find the difference? No, no more than, no less than. Uh, no, okay. Question from Quinn is no more than, no less than. Hmm. Yeah, we just did that in uh, a DDM VIP. Let me think about that. Uh, so when you guys ask questions, and, and Paul, it's not your fault, but you got to tell Quinn, got to give me sentences. Uh, it's no more than five dollars uh it's no less than five dollars i mean that's that's one way to look at it quinn okay there's one question uh <laughs> that's right louis hunter's biting some cocaine that's it that's the only question i have i gave you guys like a minute and a half and there's no questions Jindoma, really Mm -hmm. the guys are up on my roof right now they're up on my roof i'll take some pictures oh, great mm -hmm. it's for him to see his question here yeah yeah well here's his question so hopefully that that'll explain it. i'll answer his question ah gabir oh there we go we got some shoveling going Gabir, how do you make the EDTH blend? Hope that ah, that's a good question. I like that. Okay, so I'll yeah, I'm gonna do Gabir's for sure. I can do Quinn's too. Uh, EDTH blend. Hope that name that yeah, that's a good question. Uh, where's the tongue? Good. You guys, I'm going to take some pictures here. Hold on a second. I'll be back. I apologize. Uh, I know it's it's uh it's funky. It's the funky cold Medina. You guys know the funky cold Medina? All right, sorry. I'll, I'll show you what, what I'm looking at here. That's the roof of my house. And we got a couple of guys up there uh, shoveling snow off. You can see all the ice. We have what they call an ice dam. And ice dams can cause a lot of damage, can cause a lot of problems. So right now I'm spending almost $500 to uh have these guys do this dangerous job but if i didn't i might have to spend thousands of dollars uh fixing my roof so that's the situation so i have no choice uh okay so i got gabir's question manuel anybody speak spanish and english here um i'm sure what's the hidden difference between i have studied and i studied mm, that's a good question i like that uh so that's more Mohammed, Mustafa, 
uh, I have studied verses I studied once. Okay, I like that question. Good question. What else do I have here? Fifi, hey, when my son Kudurul Magar Sopta brought me here, really? Yeah, I was in when my son Kudurul Magar Sopta. I was in that a long time ago. Is it online, Fifi? If it's online, please send me a link. If I would love to see it, if you can find it, Fifi, please send me a link. A link. I would love to see that. Yeah, that was me a long, long time ago. Gabir, I think there is no cancellation. Oh, absolutely, Luis. There is. Absolutely. Salam. Online. Oh, kind of. Yeah, send me the link, Fifi. I would absolutely love to see it. Please, if you can. I was on two episodes. I was on two episodes. <laughs> I, I sang a song. What song did I sing? Oh, did, did you see the singing one where I had the guitar? Ah, it was uh, Elvis Presley. Oh, man. Snow is additional insulation. Yeah, as long as it doesn't break my gutters. Uh, <laughs> oh, what was the song I said? Love me tender. I had the guitar. <laughs> Love me tender. To, uh, was it, uh, what was her name? Kim Min Jung. I think it was Kim Min Jung. Oh, that was many, many years ago. That was funny. I, I, I did a sitcom. Everybody were talking about, I was on a television sitcom uh in korea that was a lot of fun many many years ago uh okay i think we're about ready i got some good questions here uh let me write down muhammad gabir and Kim. okay so those are the questions now i have to take you to the story how to pick a good name and that's right here mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Starting up again. Po, po, po. Yeah, okay, Coach Paul. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right, here we go. What was the last song we listened to? Walk This Way. Walk This Way. Okay, Walk This Way by MDMC. Oh, Country Shane. It's always good to hear from Country Shane. And that was a fantastic fact from Country Shane, uh, all about the lemmings. And actually, I need to thank somebody on Patreon for that information. Jose Brunfman. Yeah, Jose sent me that information uh, over on Patreon. So thank you very much for that fantastic fact uh, that Country Shane has told us. And the music. Are you kidding? The music was perfect. That was Walk This Way. <laughs> How perfect for Lemmings. Uh, Aerosmith is the original artist, and that was the Run DMC version. Great, great, great song. Now, the next story is how to pick a good English name. Mm -hmm. How to choose a good English name. This is not an easy thing for many, many people. Uh, you know, you want to have a nice sounding, smart sounding English name. You want to have something unique. Uh, somebody earlier in the live show said, Elon. What about Elon? Like Elon Musk. Yeah. Well, if you're a billionaire, Elon is a good name. Otherwise, I don't really recommend Elon because it's kind of weird. It is. Unless you're a billionaire. It's like Tiger Woods. My name is Tiger. Eh, you know. Not a very good name unless you are Tiger Woods. So what can you do? Well, there's a website called flowingdata.com. I'll spell that. F-L-O-W-I-N-G-D-A-T-A, flowingdata.com. And they have a link to some software that will help you choose a fantastic, perfect English name based on your age and what was popular when you were born. I'm not joking. It's a really, really great software. 
So let's say here, uh, and I'm looking at my live uh, viewers right now, my live students. Uh, so I need a female. Any females out there? I want a female, and I was I want to know the year you were born in. Uh, female, what year? What decade? Not year. What decade were you born in? And guys, same thing. I want to say male 1960s, male 1970s, female 1980s. And you give me that information, and I will show you a fantastic name for you. I'm not joking. This is real serious stuff. Okay. So go ahead. I'll wait for you guys in the chat room to give me your name and the decade you were born. All right, so we got our first one here. It's Stanislav, uh, male, nineteen eighty. How you doing? All right, so I'm gonna change. So male, and his name is so his Russian. I'm assuming Russian is uh, Stanislav. So I'm gonna put S S. So Stanislav, for you, your name you should choose either Samuel, Stephen, Sean, Stephen, or Scott. One of those five names would be a perfect name for you. So your name is Stanislav. Uh, I think Stephen. Stephen. Stephen is perfect. Perfect. All right. From Belarus. I love it. Minsk. Are you in Minsk? I have students in Belarus. All of my students who live in Belarus, they always say, oh, our president is the most wonderful president in the world. <laughs> we got another one. Louis Chaparro. Cha Chaparro. Louis Chaparro, male, 1970. 1970s. Uh, let me go back here. 1970s. Male. Louis L. L. Larry Lawrence. Louis. Louis is right there. It's number three. Lance and Lee. Louis, your English name should be Louis. You're good to go, Louis. You're safe. You're good to go. Louis. <laughs> choose the name Lewis for you. It's perfect. Uh, Daniel. Well, Daniel, your English name is English already, Daniel. So Daniel's male from the 90s. Male from the 90s. Let's see. Uh, D, starting with a D. Daniel, number one. Daniel, number one. Thord Breen. I love that name. I used to know somebody, a family named Breen, male 2000s. Uh, and your uh, T, T, T. Tyler, Thomas, Timothy, Tristan, Trevor. Hmm. So Tyler, Thord, Trevor. I think Trevor is going to be perfect for you. Tyler, Thomas, Timothy, Tristan, Trevor. Go with Trevor. Trevor. Those are the top five names for men that were born in the 2000s, starting with a T. So Thord, I think Trevor, I think Thord is cool, uh, but I think Trevor is a great English name for you. We have no females listening. Is George Costanza okay? <laughs> yeah, definitely you can choose George, that's for sure. No females, no ladies. What is this, a gay community? <laughs> that's terrible i have zero popularity with the women oh my god <laughs> trevor arita i love it i love it <laughs> yeah trevor arita maybe tyler arita thomas timothy tristan tristan is good too tristan yeah i like tristan tristan's good anybody else I, I need a woman. Oh, th thank you. Okay, we got Sepita, female, 1991. All right, so female, 1990s with an S. Sarah, Samantha, Stephanie, Sarah, Shelby. Mm, Sepita, Shelby, Shelby. Sarah. Sarah is kind of common. What about Shelby? I think Shelby would be a really good one. Shelby. Sepita, maybe Shelby would be a good one. I think so. Nita. Is your name Nita or Anita? I think it's Anita, right? Female Benshik. Mm -hmm. 1970s. 
I'm going to go N first. Nicole, Nancy, Natalie, Nita, Natalie. That sounds good. Natasha. I think Natalie. Natalie's very American, right? Very American. Natalie. I like that. Natalie. Or if it begins with an A, like Anita, uh, Amy, Angela. Yeah, I think Natalie. Stick with stick with uh, Natalie. Natalie's great, Nita. I love it. Uh, Daniel, Fuang, female, 1960s. All right, Fuang. Oh, you're my age. You're a year younger than me. Uh, and it's Fuang Mai. So let's go Mai. Mary, Michelle, Melissa, Maria. There you go, Maria. Maria is your English name, Fuang. Maria. Maria. Can you say it? Maria. That's perfect. Or Michelle. Michelle is good, too. It's great. Uh, we have Riyadh, male, 90s. Male, 90s. R. Ryan, there you go. Ryan, boom, right off the bat. Ryan, perfect. Ryan, Riyadh, your English name is Ryan. There you go, everybody. So, this is a really cool website, flowingdata.com. And I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and read the URL, okay? And if you're watching live, you can see it, uh, but I'll read the URL to you. And the URL is flowingdata, flowingdata.com slash 2020 slash. 01 slash 21 slash name dash guess. That's it. So January 21st, 2020. Flowingdata.com slash 2020 slash 01 slash 21 slash name dash guess. And you can find the perfect name for you. It's a fantastic website giving you uh, great ideas for names. And speaking of names, we've got a couple of great songs. Let's go all the way back to the 1970s with Jim Croce. And he's singing a classic, I Got a Name. And then we're going to bring it all the way back to the 20 noughts with the Ting Tings. That's not my name. That's not my name. All right, guys, uh, we'll go ahead and, and do the Q&A. And, &A and uh, let me look at the, I got three questions here. Uh, it's no more than $5. It's no less than $5. Okay. Uh, EDTH planned. And where's the tongue? Uh, and Muhammad, I have studied. I studied. Okay, good. Hmm. Yeah, these are really good questions, actually. Um, and I'll, for people who are watching online, can you see that? big enough i'll try and make it a little bit bigger if you're watching online can you hear the roof can you hear the guy shoveling on the roof we got so much snow all right so i'll take care of the first question here I just got a text from my wife. My son is, uh, he's in the city. I'll show you a picture of my son right now. He's playing. He's at some science museum. At a science museum having fun. I'm texting my wife. Looks like Jimmy's sleeping. Jimmy's my little one. I'll show you a picture. See, this is really live, right? This is so live. There's Jimmy's in the crib. Or, and, and Jimmy's in the stroller and Mikey's having fun. Okay. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Here we go. Make sure I'm recording. All right, let's do some Q&A, some questions and answers. And our first question is from Quinn. Uh, Quinn's got a fantastic question. It is 
no more than five dollars or it's no less than five dollars yeah what's the uh what's the cost i'm sorry what's the, what's the difference in meaning it's a great question it's no more than five dollars that means maximum price maximum price is five dollars no more it's no less than five dollars minimum price is five dollars minimum price is five dollars okay uh so no more than something the maximum the maximum is something no less than something the minimum is something all right so make your own sentences and practice and uh and let me know uh if you understand that our next question is from gabir and he's asking about the edth blend for example hoped h o p e d that t h a t hoped that we have an e d and a th how do those sounds go together it's a great question and they do go together so perfect pronunciation is hoped that however when we say it fast it sounds like hope that hope that hope that and what happens is and what i tell my students is when we have similar sounds the the d or the t and the th are all similar sounds when we have similar sounds we put those sounds together there's no cancellation they're put together but the focus goes on the second sound so hoped that the th gets the focus and what happens is there's actually something i teach in the ddm classes and uh i'll, I'll explain it to you guys right now the th and the t or the d sound we can say at the same time now in your mouth imagine you've got your upper teeth and you've got your uh your tongue comes and when your tongue comes and touches the alveolar ridge it makes the th i'm sorry the the t sound or the d sound right so we can say hope t -t -t -t, and that t is touching the alveolar ridge the tongue is touching the alveolar ridge try it or d, d, d. the tongue is in the same position the tongue is touching the alveolar ridge now when we do the th the tongue has to come between the upper teeth and the lower teeth and we get a v, v, v. the tongue is between the teeth v, v, v. however this is where the magic happens the magic happens and we can combine we can do the t and the th at the same time if we make the tongue the middle part of the tongue touch the alveolar ridge and the tip of the tongue come between the teeth like this you're not gonna you, you know if you're watching live you might be able to see me but otherwise you can't see me but this is actually what happens when americans are saying it fast with the middle part of the tongue we're stopping the t or the d sound and with the front part of the tongue we're making the th now once again in a podcast this is actually very difficult to teach however in our live classes in ddm vip and ama and perf i teach this i show you and we practice together so hoped that becomes hope that hope that hope that now you can hear the th right hope that hope that hope that but there's also a stop sound and that is the hope that hope that and what about claimed that claimed that same thing claimed that claimed that claimed that so if you're watching on the live class we have a blue tongue doing the t and the d we have a green tongue doing the th and we have a purple tongue doing both the D and the TH, and that is what I'm using. So hopefully, Gabir, this kind of answers it. It's the type of thing where you need to actually practice with me. So hopefully, uh, you'll become a student uh, one day. 
And our final question is from Mohammed. Mohammed asks a very smart question. I have studied versus I studied. Is there a nuance difference? And like I've always said, uh, Americans don't like to use the word have. So sometimes I have studied and I studied are the same thing, the same thing, but they can be different. And typically I studied simple meaning. I did. I studied in the past. It's done. Okay. But I have studied, could have the nuance of I have studied, but I don't remember. Or it could be, I have studied. Yes, I have. And I remember everything. It can have a very strong meaning depending on how you say it in American English. So, Coach Shane, tell me about math. <laughs> well, I have studied math, but I don't remember. Coach Shane, do you know anything about history? I have studied history. I know so much. So, by how we use the word have can mean you did, but you don't remember in the case of I have studied, or you did and you remember everything in the case of studied. So, Mohammed, your question is actually really excellent. And again, this is the type of thing that we study in DDM. So, if you guys can join me in DDM, that would be awesome. Now, uh, to, to join me, to get my free lessons and all of that stuff, I got to let you know my email address and everything. And if you're watching live, you can see my email address is dailydictationmembers at gmail.com. Uh, I'm on Twitter, Coach Shane, Facebook, ESL Coach Shane, uh, YouTube. You guys are watching me on YouTube and VK and Periscope right now. So I think that's uh, a pretty good stuff. All right. That's it for this live cast. I want to thank everybody on Twitter and uh, Periscope, VK, um, where else? Uh, YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Stanislav says they say most people on YouTube are male. Yeah, it's a gay community. <laughs> uh, good vibes. From Peru, we just had a story about Peru. Summer in Korea. How you doing, everybody? Uh, that's it for me. I am out of here. I want to say thank you to everybody. I got to go outside and take some pictures of the uh, the roof shoveling. And uh, yeah, this podcast will be going out uh, tonight. Okay. Uh, and if you're a member, you get to hear all the great music. If you're not a member, you should become a member. And if you have a question about how to become a member, send us an email. All right. Daily dictation members at gmail.com. I'm out of here, guys. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you, Anita.